Alright, welcome back to MTS 486 Part 2. Today, we're going to be taking a look at all the internals of my MTS 486, and we're also going to take a look at the CMOS battery up close and what I have to do to replace it. Now, since I went through all the time and effort to disassemble the computer completely, mainly because I had to get the motherboard out, and I had no choice, I figured since I have all of the other components out, I'll just take you for a quick tour and show you all of the different things that were inside of this. Now, basically everything that's inside of this is what you're looking at. So what I'll do is I'll just get the camera set up in a better position and we'll just look at everything up close. So, stand by. Alright, so first up is the hard drive itself. And I, I didn't know... The, it was a caviar 2420 I don't know I I don't know whose idea it was to come up with that but it says except only the finest caviar <laughs> but it's a Western digital uh, obviously you know they're still around today um, there's all the specs for the disk drive itself um, I'm like 100% sure it works I just don't know if I'm going to be able to access anything on it if I can't get this motherboard fixed. So we're going to um, we're gonna try to do this legit and get this thing to actually work. So I hope you stay tuned for part three and however many other additions there are to this lovely epic. Alright, next is the sound card. And I can only assume it's the sound card because one... Uh, it says creative on it a few times, and two, it was plugged into the back of the CD player. So this is, and well, also because it's got the volume control and headphone jack and all that other stuff on the back. So I'm just going to zoom in, pan down, and we'll see if we can't get a little focusing on here. So all these, this whole group of capacitors, they don't look bulged or... They don't smell bad or they don't look leaky or anything like that, so I'm not going to touch it. As you can see, most of the dust is off, but there's still a lot of dust. You can see the crystal oscillator right here, I think. I believe there's another one further down. Right there. But you can see, it says creative. I'm Imagine that that's an expansion slot for another chip that I don't have. But everything seems pretty okay on all the boards. It's just the motherboard that I have an issue with. So, just quickly pan back up here. Alright, on to the next uh, piece of hardware here. Stand by. Okay, so now if I was a guessing man, which I suppose I am, <clears throat> uh, this would be the video card. Um, it's got two different plugs on the back of it here. And uh, the board itself also has plugs on it. Um, I left the ribbon cables all on there just to make my life easier. I'll be lucky if I remember how this whole thing goes back together. But anyway, let's get you zoomed in here. And uh, So now, if this is in fact a video card, there could be an issue with it. Uh, initially, I thought the video card, quote-unquote video card, was just part of the motherboard. And I wasn't sure if the motherboard was the reason why... The colors kept fading out on the monitor. Um, they it wouldn't fade like to black and white per se. The colors would just shift. They'd shift off and they'd be off for like ten five seconds and then come back. But now that I'm looking at this uh, motherboard, uh, excuse me. Now that I'm looking at this video card, um, I know that it is probably a video card, and uh, I'll scrutinize it a little better. Get some dust off there. Holy cow, I guess I didn't dust this very well, and I apologize for that. Anyway, let's get you zoomed in. And I, 
guess I'll rotate this. Oh, God. Oh, I can hear the screaming now. But, all right, I'm just going to move the camera instead. Stand by. Oh, horrible camera work on my part. Okay. That's as good as that's going to get. But, um, let's scooch this over a bit. Now, everything looks pretty alright on here. Sorry, it's just all this crap in the way. Just trying to get through this. It takes so long to render these videos and get them up online. I just want to shoot them and be done with it, so I kind of just compromise with my video shooting skills just because I want to share all the stuff with you guys so you know whatever but if you look over here this would stop moving please and thank you there's a couple of capacitors right here and uh, these are starting to look well they are swollen so I'm at kind of a, a standstill what to do for that, um, I mean, I guess I could dismount them and test them. I mean, it's not, you know, like I have to undo a trillion things. Where am I here to get to these capacitors? Oh, not a focus to be had. And I don't mean the disc ones in the back. I mean these three black ones in the front. Why would you want to focus? Anyway, so I believe that's the video card. Let's, uh, let's go up to the mystery card next, I suppose. Alright, so here's the mystery card with the dip switches on the back. You can see it's got these four dip switches. And I, I honestly don't remember what was plugged into that plug, if, if anything at all. But as you can see, the chip says music on it right here. I don't know what... I'll just be honest, I don't know what it is. Flip this over to the side here for you. It says VGA on it, like it's, you know, has something to do with my monitor, like, because that's VGA, I think. So, I, I don't know. I'll get you zoomed in. So you can see all the cool 90s stuff potentially in focus. Just gonna scan over here. I don't know what DBIOS is. Um, I don't know if that's basic input output system plus D. <laughs> so, I, you know, this is all new to me. I, the computer, we've just always had it. I was, let's see, 1994, I was 10. So, as a 10 year old, I didn't know anything about computers other than I wanted to play games and different things. So, you know, as time went on and the computer got replaced by a newer one, I didn't bother even figuring out what this computer had to offer because reasons, <laughs> bigger and better things came out. But now that a lot of time has passed, um, I'm really interested in this older computer stuff. So any um, advice or information anybody could pass on in the comment section or private message or whatever would be greatly appreciated. I mean, sure, I could just be a Google warrior and sit in front of my computer all day and Google everything, but real world experience and know-how doesn't really, you know, doesn't really match Google, Googling. So, um, just give you another quick pan at this. Uh, not really much to this card. I'm going to zoom out just a bit here. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I, I I mean it's gonna go back in. It has to, but it could be just you know an expansion card for something. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what those. I'm more interested in what these dip switches do. Right there. Sorry, put that in frame. Right there. So let's uh let's move on to the CD drive. Why not? I'm saving the motherboard for last. And, of course, is your plain Jane CD player. Uh, it doesn't even say how many speeds it is on the front, probably because it isn't any. It's probably just a 1x, whatever. 
Here's all the stats and info. And you already knew it was from 1994. Because that was right on top. Here's the back of it. Nothing fancy. Maybe a focus? Nah. But still, all you old computer nerds know what all this stuff is. So, nothing, nothing special there. And last but not least, the motherboard. Now, you can see that there's plenty of other expansion slots in here. And I don't know why nothing was ever expanded into there. But everything else is pretty much... Uh, the spaces are spoken for except for I believe this bottom slot and like a space up above it everything else you know had something plugged in more or less you can see it's got if I can zoom in on that and it will focus oh focus yes you can see it's got the removable easy removable chip you just flip this bad boy up and it pops out and you'll notice that there's more pinholes than there are processor not my idea I didn't do it it's just how it is but just slide this I guess probably not though you can see all the other little bits and pieces really wish I was more familiar with these older computers. I believe this was the RAM expansion. Uh, the board in the back. Yeah. I, I don't know. You guys probably could tell me everything about this. And uh, that'd be great. <clears throat> but So everything looks pretty good on the motherboard. But when you come over to the CMOS battery that was installed into the computer itself you can see the bottom is is corroded even it might not look like it from here you can even see this contact pad and the screw that holds it down to the case uh, is corroded as well as the um, threaded sleeve that it goes into is, is a different color than the rest and there's actually a rust patch around it which I'll show you but I'll turn this this way oh don't yell at me Zoomed in here. Okay, see now you can definitely see right there the damage that it's caused. And, uh, oh, yep, there you go. So, obviously, not hard to desolder this off the board and get a battery holder and a battery and, and just put it back in there. But one thing uh, I don't know is um, a lot of the CMOS batteries that came out after this were the CR batteries. And I thought CR meant that you can't recharge them. And this is like a rechargeable battery. Every time the computer gets shut off, this it relies on this. And then when it gets turned back on, it recharges it. So... You know, everybody else has, has changed these to the to the CR batteries, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. I just don't want my computer to go into meltdown after I took the whole thing apart and try to do something good to it. So, let's get this board flipped over and I'll show you the back side. Um, one of the traces actually went pretty far. Um, we'll start here, I guess. the lighting is shitty but you can see obviously what's gone awry on the back of the board I'll go down just a bit and you can see it started its travels down further and I believe I traced green so we're gonna oops where am I here we're gonna turn the board and you're probably not gonna be able to see it and I apologize for that but it's made its way, oh, screwdriver, where are you going? Sorry, just bear with me. It's made its way all the way down to where you can't see it. But you see this one little pin right there is green. 
This one pin right here was green, but I just wiped it off with my finger. But a majority of the bad stuff is is right over here. So I don't know if I can scrub all this off and just replate it with solder, just re retrace it. Um, this could be the reason why um, the video card isn't working properly because this pin uh, that I showed you down further, those two lone ones that were down there, I followed the traces and it actually goes, I think it's a PCI slot. I think that it goes to that slot that the card was in. So perhaps maybe I could shuffle some stuff around and put the card in a different sector of the motherboard. I don't know. This is all, you know, just kind of by the seat of my pants here. So, you know, part three could be a year from now. Don't expect this to just be something that I'm going to dedicate all my time to because I have other movies that I want to make as well. So, you know, I'm just trying to just trying to get the info out as I get it, and then when I can come back to it, I'll come back to it. I don't want to just make one movie and have stuff in production for a year. Well, not production. I don't want to have stuff on my hard drive for a year until I can get you a video. I'll just piecemeal it out to you guys, and you can tell me how stupid I am. So, basically, I mean, that's everything in a nutshell. There's the whole computer just hollowed out. I uh, witness marked a lot of the stuff that was in there so I could put it back. But um, that's pretty much uh, what's on my plate for now. All the other stuff looks good, but I'll give it another once over. Um, but I'm hoping that just replacing the CMOS battery in here will get my computer back and running. And I'll be playing Wolfenstein in no time. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned.